The basic economic cycle. The basic economic cycle is a very simple concept. Actually, everybody that's listening to this has actually been participating in this since you were born. Uh, there's three main parts to the economic cycle. Let's keep it nice and simple. These three things are in relationship with each other. They are always going to be connected, no matter what. We're going to talk right now about the positive economic cycle when things are going well. Okay, so let's just start off any place, and we could start people have jobs. The simple concept, people are employed. Right? Now, every Friday or every week or every two weeks or every month or whenever, people get paid. So people have money. As long as you have a job, you have money in your pocket. Now, this is the third thing here that's very important that people overlook quite a bit. You have to spend that money. Now, obviously, it's good to save some of your money, but if everybody saved all of their money all of the time, the money wouldn't move around and we wouldn't have anything in this cycle. We need people to spend their money because when you spend your money, you're actually going to be creating a job for someone else. So let's start, for example, let's say you have a job. Then on Friday, your boss pays you, you have money. Then you take your big fat paycheck full of money and you go home and you tell your family, hey, I just got paid. I'm feeling really good. Let's go out to eat today. So you go out to eat with your family. So you go to a restaurant. You walk in the door and you see a hostess and, sh and she seats you. You just gave that lady a part of a job. Then the waiter shows up and asks you what you want to eat. You give him the order. You just gave that guy part of his job. The waiter takes your order to the kitchen and the cook starts cooking your food. You just gave that person a job. Waiter comes back, brings you your food, everything's wonderful, you pay your bill, you leave, and then after you leave, the bus boy comes and cleans off your table. Guess what? You spent your money, so you gave all of those people a little sliver of their jobs for that day. Now those people, the hostess, the waiter, the cook, the bus boy, all have jobs so now at the end of the week they're gonna have money also and then they're going to be able to go out and spend their money on whatever it is that they want they want to go buy a new shirt or something like that so when they go out and they go to a store and they buy a new shirt they are giving a job to the salesperson that's selling them the shirt they're giving a job to the person that transported the shirt from the factory that it was made to the store where it was where you just bought it from see how this works and now those people have money this is the basic economic cycle. When it spins around in a positive fashion, it is a good thing. Now, during the Great Depression, these three things were still connected together, okay? Jobs, money, and spending, but it was in a negative fashion. So let's start off again. In the Great Depression, unemployment was very, very high. People didn't have jobs. So when people didn't have jobs, people didn't have any money. But wait, what about unemployment insurance, Mr. Zerto, where the government sends you money even though you're unemployed? Well, that didn't exist yet. That's going to come in later. So in the Great Depression, before 1932, when people didn't have jobs, people didn't have any money. When people don't have any money, they obviously can't go out and spend their money. They don't have any. So let's just go back to our original example and see how this works out. People don't have jobs, so you don't have a job. So on Friday, you didn't get paid because you weren't at work anyway because you don't have a job. That means you didn't go out to a restaurant and spend money because you didn't have any to spend. And because you weren't there at the restaurant with your family, look at all the other people who don't have jobs. The hostess doesn't have a job. The waiter doesn't have a job. The cook doesn't have a job. The busboy doesn't have a job. Now those people don't have jobs and now those additional people don't have money and they're not going out to spend it and they're not going out and buying, for example, a shirt or whatever. So you can see these three things are always connected. When times are good, this is a good connection, but when times are bad, it drags everybody down. And that's what was going on in the Great Depression.